Courts are seeing fewer bankruptcy filings. According to the Herald Tribune, nearly 2,600 financially strapped residents and companies on the Sun Coast sought protection from creditors last year, down nearly 50 percent from the recession-era peak in 2010. But it's still more bankruptcies than in 2007, just before the economic downturn hit, a sign that some consumers are still struggling with their debts. Experts say a big factor is that the credit market is still fairly limited and that many consumers who needed to file for bankruptcy protection already have done so and can't file again for eight years. For the fifth week in a row, area gas prices are down on the Sun Coast. Here's this week's SNN Gas Tracker report. The lowest gas price SNN cameras could find in Sarasota County this weekend was at the Dodge store on the corner of Beneva and Fruitville Roads, where regular was selling at $3.39 a gallon, down four cents from last weekend. The Marathon Station on Washington Boulevard at 20th Street also had regular for cash at $3.39 a gallon. Murphy USA and Osprey had regular for cash or credit at $3.40 a gallon. That's down two cents from last Saturday. And the Sunoco Station on South Trail had gas for cash at $3.41, also down four cents for the week. Now in Manatee County, the best gas prices SNN cameras found this weekend. Well, the best one was again along 15th Street. Gas Express, an independent gas station at the corner of Whitfield and 15th Street, was selling regular for $3.31 a gallon cash or credit. That's down four cents for the week. The Marathon Station, located near the intersection of 15th Street and 63rd Avenue West, also had gas for cash at $3.31 a gallon, down four cents for the week. And the Sitco Station at Talavast and 15th Street, across from the airport, had gas for cash at $3.36 a gallon. Procter & Gamble is cleaning house. The nation's largest consumer product company plans to dump about 90 of its smaller, less popular brands. The move will still leave the company with a portfolio of 70 to 80 brands. Company officials did not immediately identify the names of those brands being cut. Some will be sold to new owners, others will just be closed down. P&G will continue to sell many of the best-known products found in American households. Those include Tide laundry detergent, Charmin toilet paper, Pampers diapers, Crest toothpaste, and Bounty paper towels. The brands the company is keeping account for 90% of the company's annual sale of $83 billion. Kodak is getting a big helping hand from A-list Hollywood directors and movie studios to extend the life of motion picture film. The Eastman Kodak Company, based in Rochester, New York, has all but finalized a deal. Kodak is currently the only major company that still produces movie film. Kodak emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in September and said it would keep making movie film as long as it was profitable. But sales of its movie film has dropped a whopping 96 percent since 2006 as studios moved to digital. A group of leading directors, including Quentin Tarantino, Christopher Nolan, Jude Apatow, and J.J. Abrams, pushed studio heads to negotiate with Kodak to keep producing film. Under the deal, the studios would promise to buy a certain amount of film over the next few years, even if they don't use it at all. Apple has finalized its $3 billion deal to buy Beats. Company executives welcome Beats Music and Beats Electronics to the Apple family. Apple's website directs visitors to the Beats by Dre site, which explains that all online orders will now go through the Apple Store. This is the largest deal in Apple's history. The latest Marvel Studios superhero movie had the largest opening of all time for an August release. Guardians of the Galaxy exceeded studio expectations with ticket sales of $94 million. The offbeat action adventure stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, and the voices of Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel. Lucy came in second with earnings of about $18 million in its second weekend in theaters. The flick star Scarlett Johansson as a woman with mind-bending powers. The third spot went to the biopic Get On Up. The drama about the career of funk and soul singer James Brown debuted with a take of $14 million.